of the teams you played on, 93, 94, 97, which was the best team? The, the best team was the when uh, John M came, to me personally. Seven, had, yeah, 90, 97 season because we had all the pieces then. We, we were deep, yeah. man. We were pushing them to starters every day in practice. I mean, it was yeah. wars. It was wars. Yeah. Yeah, like I said before. No fouls. <laughs> no fouls. <laughs> that was fantastic, John. I love that. Great. Yeah, I, I love that. So, you know what Patrick said? He he said 94 because he got to the finals. And I said, well, 93, you won 60 games. And he goes, I don't remember what happened that year. <laughs> <laughs> he in amnesia. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we, I, I, the most complete team was at 96, 97 team. Oh, that I was know. the most complete team. Yeah, of I, all. I think me personally, I think that was the most complete. If you guys day. don't have the fight against the Heat, John. You probably yeah. would have beat them, right? Absolutely. Oh, we would have. We would have beat them. I remember, Trent, I remember Trent Tucker told me after the season. He said, "If y'all would have got to us, that y'all would have beat us." I said, "I already know, Trent, because we was rolling. We was rolling at that time too. At the end of the season, we was on a good, good little uh, stretch of uh, ball games, and we felt like we won. Oh. Yeah, yeah." Ah. It hurts hey, too. John, wasn't there a story where you were playing against Mike and he said, you're going to call me Mr. Jordan by the end of the night? That, you know, that was right after uh, I got uh, put on the team. Well, I, I came back and played uh, after, you know, uh, my first season. My first season with the Knicks. And uh, after I came off IR, my first game was against Jordan. Uh -huh. <laughs> and uh, <Off> IR? <laughs> Our life, uh, I, you know what the funny thing it was? Because uh, I, I went into it, I said, hey, listen here. Uh, go tell them, uh, uh, y'all got to either bring me off IR or release me. So happened Trent Tucker ended up getting hurt. Uh, they had to bring me off IR in my first game was against Jordan. And I can remember playing, and he was trying to post me up and forearmed him in the back. He looked at me. He said, before the night is over with, you're going to be calling me Mr. Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> but then after the game, I ran up to him. I said, you didn't get Mr. Jordan out of him. He just started laughing. <laughs> yeah, you remember, do you remember when we played him in Chicago after him and Van Gundy got into it in the media and he had 51 and after every basket he was saying what he was saying to Van Gundy? I, I forgot what he was saying, but he, he, was saying, <laughs> he was basically saying, I'm black Jesus to you. Yeah, <laughs> some black Jesus. And then you remember Van Gundy called timeout one time and forgot what to say. He called yeah. timeout. He was just sitting there. He was so disheveled. He was like, "What's going on?" He said, "Like you remember? He was just like this, <laughs> like two and a half minutes, no words." He's like, "All right, break." He's like, "What's going? What just happened?" <laughs> What's the play? What's the play? <laughs> oh, uh, thank you, John. We need to do a book on that on these teams. I'm telling you, oh, oh, man, that was great. On these teams. <laughs> we got to do it, John. Good. John, honestly, man, all, all all joking aside, you were one of the guys who took the young guys up under your wing and was very helpful for us still to this day and telling us what to do and basically making us stand up for ourselves and not just being treated like a rookie. Um, exactly. Even though there was some rookie things going on, Dante and I didn't do them. Walter McCartney <laughs> was doing the rookie stuff. We didn't know about it, but I wasn't going to do it anyway. So, it been, all joking aside, man, I appreciate you, man, because oh, you really, really you helped me out in my career. You know Thanks, why? John. You know why I was like that? Because I was the same boat when I came into uh, with Golden State. They was trying to make me uh, – uh, do the rookie things, right? Well, I, and, I remember oh, you told me. You said, I ain't doing yeah. no rookie thing. Why would I ask you to do something? I'm a grown man. I got, exactly. I got a What are you talking about? So uh, it was one, uh, we went to uh, Hawaii. And so we, uh, we flew over there and we playing in L.A. a couple of games over there in Hawaii, right? So we get on the, on the bus and uh, and they try to make me go get the uh, balls and <laughs> – and they, uh, you know, they dirty laundry and all that. I, <laughs> I ain't getting no laundry. I'm a broad ass man, this and that. So, and Don Nelson heard. Don Nelson heard that he came back to the. Uh, he came back to the bus in the bus. And he said, "Hey, listen here, Rook. You don't get those balls in those dirty laundry. Your ass gonna be out of here." I said, what room are you in? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
bad. Oh, yeah. so, but it's, it's different now. I was, I was just saying the other day, it's totally different. You know, I, when John and, and myself came in the league, we was playing against grown men, you know, Absolutely. grown men with families and, and what have you. And, and they treated you like rookies, you know, when we came into the league. Nowadays, it's young. Is a young and they don't get treated like rookies. So they just they come in with the cachet and they feel like, okay, I belong here and this and that. No, you had to earn your strike back then. You know what I mean? So you had to get the respect of older players. And that was the problem with Reggie. And I understood it is because, you know, when I came in, I that nobody knew who I was. And when I uh first became a starter, he was trying to still treat me like a bench player, you know what I mean? So I had to earn my respect. You ain't having that. <laughs> yeah. So, I, yeah. so after that headbutt, Reggie backed off. And like I tell people, I had no problems out of Reggie for the rest of my career. That's right. So <laughs> you had to get that respect. Just like walking on the park and nobody know who you are, they gonna treat you bad until you show them that you can play. Right. It's true.